See my dilemma, everybody. So much fun out there on the trails. It's hard. Mountain racing in 2020 or marathon racing in 2020. We're gonna talk about it out in the studio here in a minute. But first, time to roll out, get the legs nice and happy after, uh, gosh, what are we at? We're five days out from uh, the New York City Marathon with seven, seven days to go until the World Mountain Running Championship. So, the uh, time is of the essence to make sure the body is feeling right. And real quick, before I start rolling out here, and yes, I'm gonna use the trigger point more so today. I just gotta dig in a little bit to my, my glute and right hip is just a little tight after the, uh, the marathon racing. So, All right, let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll in the studio. Marathon racing or mountain racing in 2020. What a topic. Now, I'm not gonna divulge all of my races that I'm gonna do next year, but we're gonna get the discussion going. Um, yeah, so we'll get into that in one minute, but first, today's run in the Ultra, um, the Ultra Lone Peak 4.5s. Took them out for nine miles today, 2,100 feet of vertical gain and loss. Uh, there it is on your screen in kilometers and meters. Uh, not my first impression, but I will just say it's crazy. Zero drop is crazy. It's, uh, it felt so much different. I haven't worn Ultra in a while, and it's just so distinct. It's a very different feel. And so I can see why they have found, here's actually my old, my old tints right here, and I can see why people who love ultra really dive into that experience at the zero drop, meaning, uh, and I actually don't even know what the stack height is in these Lone Peak 4.5s, uh, but that experience of just your heel going closer to the ground and then just stretching out. I feel like when I'm running in a zero drop shoe, 
my soleus and calf and Achilles tendon is stretching more, which again, I think is a good thing every now and then. So I enjoyed the ride. I did not fall in the mud, didn't fall on the ice. So that is good. Uh, so the, the, the grip on the outer uh, outsole did pretty well out there uh, today at Mount Falcon. Okay, let's dive into the topic. Oh man, if you've been watching this channel for a long time, you know that uh, historically I am more of a mountain and ultra running fan. Uh, that's what I've been doing mostly over the last four to five years approximately, uh, is pursuing the 50K distance, the even upwards of the 50 mile distance. And crazy enough, I attempted a hundred mile, the uh, Run Rabbit Run 100. Uh, and this connects in, it's crazy, it's all coming full circle. Remember two months ago when I brought up the topic on the blog about finding your niche, right? Remember, it was a really, I think a lot of people enjoyed that uh, vlog and I'll try and link to it upper right hand corner uh, where I basically laid out the thought process for discovering uh, what do you enjoy the most in the running world and what are you good at? And combine those two together and you might become a happier runner. Uh, meaning a more fulfilled runner and it comes down to you know your the distances that you're racing the surfaces that you're racing on the vertical gain that you're achieving in a particular race um, so there's uh, yeah there's so many different types of running out there whether it's track races cross country mountain road uh, the list goes on and on and on so now I feel like I'm eating what I what I wish I'm I'm uh, absorbing what I already told you two months ago. I don't know, like I'm trying to figure out what the heck is going on here with a 106.53, and I know I keep talking about that time, but it really did surprise me, and that's why I was frankly kind of so happy after Amsterdam. You know, I didn't hit the 219 goal, but the fact that I could still, as a 34 year old, hit a 106.53 in a marathon race. And I'm keeping it all in perspective, just so you know. I just saw an article before I came out to the studio pop up on, I think it was on Facebook or Twitter. And this past weekend in Japan, if you run a 106 in a half marathon in Japan, you might break into the top 200 uh, finishers. That's how competitive road racing is in Japan. I'm blown away. It's planting seeds for the Tokyo Olympics 2020. Uh, but basically, I'm keeping the 106.53 in perspective, but it does get me very, very, very excited for my future races in the new year, which, yes, is knocking on our door. And all of you, shout out to the vlog right after the New York City Marathon. I asked the question of the day, have you already started planning your racing calendar for the 2020 uh, year? And many of you have. I was blown away by how many of you are registered, how many of you have already plotted out. It's not like now is actually go time because the races will fill up. Um, so it's actually really an important time to start registering, especially for the really competitive races that are difficult to get into. We're going to go in here in a second and talk to True Love because on our, our drive yesterday back from the mountains, we actually started planning our kind of our family and life calendar for 2020 in the car. And uh, so we're going to talk to her in a minute about races that we chatted about. Um, but I will say I want to give you, uh, I want to just, I want to be uh, really honest and open with you about what I'm thinking for next year. I've officially, <laughs> I've officially caught the marathon bug. I caught it. There's no other, there's no denying it. I, I, it's in me. And I'm now quite excited to see what I can do with a calendar year dedicated to marathon racing. It's in me. 2020. Um, now, I will just say, will I race the Pikes Peak Ascent next year or the Pikes Peak Marathon, which is a mountain race? I probably will. But that might be my only trail race in 2020. I'm just, and I know that might be a shocker, but I am very intrigued to see what I could do with the half marathon distance on the roads at sea level on a flat course with competition. And I'm intrigued to see what happens, who knows, with Houston, with hopefully the Olympic trials, uh, but with other road races as well. I've caught the bug and I don't know how to get rid of it. It's in me and it gets me very, very excited. And pretty soon, I'm gonna make a vlog 
very, uh, very soon about rebuilding my running form. Um, I'm watching footage from New York, from Amsterdam, and I, I feel decent about what I'm doing out there on the roads, but I know with a little more specificity in my training, I think I can go even faster uh, on the roads. So that's my answer for marathon racing or, or mountain racing in 2020. I know this is, it's a little shocking, frankly, but here's my, okay, one more point. I know I'm going a little long here, is that if I still have some speed, now is the time to, to pursue it as a 34 year old, not as a 38 year old or a 44 year old, even though look at Bernard Lagat and, um, and um, oh my goodness. Uh, well, even, well, look at Bekele, almost breaking the world record. How old is he, 36? I think he's 36 and Kipchoge's 34. Um, bottom line, now is the time to pursue speed while I still have it. That's, that's my rationale here. So I'm excited. All right, uh, question of the day. When has your passion uh, for running shifted to a new distance or a new surface? And how did that impact your training? And I'll just say it, like your overall happiness or joy with the sport of running. Like, has there been a shift? Or maybe you shifted and maybe it didn't go, your, it didn't go the way you, you expected. Um, so that's the question of the day. Uh, thanks for hitting it up down below. Let's go inside, talk to True Love about a few other races we chatted about in the car ride. What a day out on the trails. It's, it's hard, I must say. It's hard to say that, that I might not be in the mountains as much as I was this year, but maybe it's time to go a little faster. All right, come on now, come on now. <laughs> Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, this, this looks amazing. Um, Han, on Twitter last night, yeah. I explained. Butter hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. I explained uh, Butter My Bread oh, to, the newer kids. to Twitter. To the newer kids. Oh. So it was good. I just kind of, where where'd the story come from? It was really, really good. Oh. All right, Han. So. Okay. 2020, yes. around the corner, yes. and we had a two-hour car ride home oh, yesterday, heaven. planning our lives for yeah. 2020, and what? So, mountain, marathon, mountain, marathon, what did we discuss as far as potential races for the new year, which is just around the corner? Marathons, baby. Marathons. Marathons, New York City, New, new York City half. New York City half. New York City half. Oh, in the spring. Depending on what happens in Houston, Olympic trials, okay? New, New York City full. New York City full. First Sunday, November. Fresh. No. Fresh legs. Fresh legs. Which, by the way, you crushed it. No, no, no Amsterdam. Two I love you, before. Amsterdam. Uh -huh. no, no Amsterdam two weeks before, okay? And, um, oh, well, possibly Pikes Peak. Yes. So it's kind of a mix. So, well, or... it's basically just Pikes Peak. Oh, yeah. As far as, the, as trails yes. and not the roads. And also, because we've done that, it's kind of like a family tradition. And like yeah. the whole extended family goes, we all stay in a hotel. It's an hour from our house. Yes, the, our Grammy lives down in Colorado my, Springs. My grandma lives down there. So that's, yeah, you're right. That was like the bonus. But after Pikes Peak. Yeah, nothing. No, nothing. Just New York. Just New York. So we're coming for you. We're coming for you. So anyway, that is, and that is not the entire race schedule. Yeah, that's I will get you uh, more details. New York City. Yeah. I just, who knew? We didn't even I know. know that. Till I after know. We had done. Thank you. You know who. Oh, hello. Oh, butter it. There it is. Okay. Here we go. Oh, God. <laughs> there it is. Oh, man. All right. We're signing off, ladies and gentlemen. Time for some salad and pizza. Uh, throwing it back to two blogs. One on the right, one on the left. The one on the right is going to be all about finding your niche and running. And on the left, we're going to toss it back to um, the Pikes Peak Ascent race. You better believe it. All right. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.